that was originally um, kind of designed as having a, a delivery method for yeast uh, to deliver a me metabolically active culture, and so to cut down on lag times. Um, so that was the that was the first reason that they wanted to have that smack pack and put that little bit of nutrient, uh, get those cells um, active before going in. Uh, but uh, it was also uh, to be a, a pretreatment for the for the cells, and so it supplies lipids to, to kind of replenish the, the cell membranes, and so you've got real nice uh, membranes going in to reduce the need for oxygen. Um, you still need oxygen, don't, uh, don't, uh, don't stop using oxygen, but uh, we put a, a certain amount of lipid in there to, um, to incorporate in the cells and to, to, uh, to get them nice and healthy. Uh, and then also uh, a zinc and, and magnesium uh, pretreatment is, is very beneficial, and so uh, we're kind of basically boosting up the the health of, of the culture um, and getting it active. Uh, and then the third uh, thing that was that was uh, figured with it is that, that we wanted to have a, uh, a viability indicator. And so as these, these cultures are, are going out, um, the idea is, well, if you smack it uh, and the, the culture starts to consume sugar, then um, CO2 is produced, it starts to swell. And that's, that's a pretty good viability indicator. Some strains will start a little bit slower. Um, but uh, as a home brewer, and, and most commercial guys, but a uh, home brewer, you don't, you don't have a viability test. You don't know if your culture's good or not. Um, and so um, we, we thought that was, a, that was a pretty nice little benefit to, to using the, the smack pack if it starts slower um, then you need then you need to know that 